Hello and welcome to the Zoll Zvent in-service demonstration. This multiple part series will provide detailed information about the Zvent portable critical care ventilator and its functionality. In this module, we will review how to perform a successful operational test. An operational test ensures that the ventilator circuit is properly attached and the primary patient alarms, such as patient disconnect and airway pressure high, are functioning properly. To turn on the ventilator, turn the power on-off switch clockwise from the 0 to 1 position. A patient or test lung should not be connected to the circuit when you first turn on the device. When the Z-Vent first powers on, it automatically performs a self-check to verify there are no pre-existing alarm conditions. If the self-check passes, the Start menu will display on screen at the top left, and the LED array will alternate between yellow and green until a patient configuration is selected. The ventilator automatically mutes any potential alarms for two minutes to allow the user ample time to adjust any necessary settings. The Start menu allows the user to choose between predefined default settings for specific patient types. Select the Adult Configuration option from the menu. Remember, Touch, Turn, Confirm. The LED array will change to a solid red light and the patient disconnect alarm will sound. Next, press the Manual Breath button. Ensure that gas flows out of the patient connection with each press. Now occlude the ventilator circuit with a clean gloved hand. This will trigger the airway pressure high alarm after the ventilator delivers two consecutive breaths that exceed the high PIP limit. Remove your hand from the ventilator circuit. The airway pressure high alarm will be replaced with the patient disconnect alarm once again. Next, partially occlude the ventilator circuit to dismiss the patient disconnect alarm. Lastly, when all alarms are cleared and no longer active, disconnect external power from the ventilator. This triggers the external power low disconnect alarm. Confirm the prompt and reconnect the power cable to reset the alarm. During the operational test, if either the airway pressure high, patient disconnect, or external power low disconnect alarms fail to activate, Check the patient circuit for a faulty exhalation valve or leaks, then repeat the operational test. Only proceed to connect the patient to the circuit upon completion of a successful test. We have now completely reviewed how to perform a successful operational test. 